join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. You might be thinking, hang on, this doesn't look like Dublin, and you'd be right. Today Naked Ireland goes exotic, and we're visiting the Père Lachaise Cemetery in eastern Paris. But there's method in our madness. Père Lachaise is the cemetery where one of Ireland's greatest writers is buried, and so after having visited the graves of W.B. Yeats, and Seamus Heaney in previous videos, today we seek out the particularly spectacular grave of Oscar Wilde. It's quite a walk to Wilde's grave, which is right at the back of the cemetery, so this gives me a chance to talk a bit about Wilde before we arrive at the grave and we can learn a bit about the very beautiful Pearl of Chasse while we're at it. The cemetery is located in Paris's 20th arrondissement and sits on 110 acres, which is quite an oasis when you consider the density of central Paris. And here we've arrived at the Memorial to the Dead. The design of the cemetery is by neoclassical architect Alexandre Theodore Brognart, and the cemetery is laid out in what the French describe as English style garden, in other words a garden that has uneven and unparalleled paths and is planted with a range of trees. That random approach to the path layout is certainly the case in the lower part of the cemetery, however towards the back where we are headed the layout is more uniform with paths running in a grid form. The funerary chapel was erected by Etienne Hippolyte God, who was also responsible for that really attractive neoclassical entrance we saw on the way into the cemetery. Maybe take a look at it again when you finish watching this video. The renowned author who we are paying pilgrimage to today is of course one of Ireland's most famous sons. He was born in Dublin in 1854 and died in 1900. If you don't know much about Wilde, you're probably wondering why he's buried here and not in Ireland like Yeats and Heaney. Oscar Wilde died in exile in Paris after having been imprisoned with hard labour in England, having been convicted of gross indecency after a homosexual relationship with the young Lord Alfred Douglas. It was a scandal that shook British society, and one from which Wilde never recovered. He was released from prison a broken man. His death in Paris permitted him to be buried here in Père Lachaise. Still a bit to go before we arrive at the impressive grave, but let's take this opportunity now to do all the YouTube-y stuff. It'd be great if you could give this video a like if you find it interesting. And if you subscribe, you'll really be helping support the channel, and that'll encourage future Naked Ireland films. So please help us out if you can. Oscar Wilde was one of the most celebrated poets and playwrights, and his output includes the celebrated novel Picture of Dorian Gray, and the plays Lady Windermere's Fan, The Importance of Being Earnest, and Salome, 
which was written in French. This is the columbarium which holds the remains of those who requested cremation. It's in Byzantine revival style and was designed by Jean Camille Formiget in 1894 as the first crematorium in France. Cremation wasn't a popular option at this time, and in fact not until the end of the 20th century. You can see here the two huge chimneys, presumably serving the incinerators used in the cremations. We are now in the more uniformly grid-like layout of the upper cemetery, and Oscar Wilde's grave is to the right at the bottom of this cobbled road. The cemetery is a popular destination for tourists, not only because of the famous people buried here, Jim Morrison, Sarah Bernhardt, Chopin, the list goes on but as it's a peaceful and beautiful place to stroll and escape busy Paris, which lies just beyond the cemetery walls. We are now in the 89th division, which is the area where our grave is to be found. And here is the beautiful grave of Oscar Wilde, designed by Sir Jacob Epstein. Originally, this modernist angel was replete with male genitalia, which was censored by the French authorities by covering it with a gold leaf. That particular part of the statue has since been vandalised and the genitals have never been recovered. However, this violation, as well as the numerous lipstick marks that were constantly being left on the side of the tomb, led to the installation of this plexiglass screen, which I feel is in itself a further violation of the memory of a man who devoted himself so completely to art. I imagine he would have had something to say about the irony of this plexiglass. I leave you with a view of the Eiffel Tower in the distance.